Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a CHE trunnion kit we're going to be putting um, on these rocker arms. Um, I've done a few different kits. To me, the CHE is probably the best uh, trunnion kit you can get. Um, and I'll kind of explain a little bit why. Um, the other kits, the, the way they go together, it, it's pretty difficult. These are pretty easy. The hardest part about this whole kit is you have these snap rings. And what you have to do is you can't really see it, but you can feel it. There's a rough edge to it. And you just want to make sure that when you orientate these, when you get ready to put them on, that your, your rough edge, I do it where the rough edge faces me, where it's facing up. That way, when I get ready to put the snap rings on, you want that rough edge away from this bushing. So you don't want that rough edge to be uh, anywhere on this, like touching this bushing. So that's what the instructions say. Be sure to read the instructions. Um, I guess I've done quite a few of these. To do this, you're, you're, what you're gonna need is a seven eight socket, nine sixteenth socket, and a pair of snap ring pliers. Um, I got these from Harbor Freight because uh, you don't use them that much, so just some cheapies. And the reason why you wanna do this, um, on a stock application, stock engine, it's probably not that big of a deal, but um, your factory trunnions have these needle bearings in there and they're not sealed. So when they do break loose, they can come out of here. They can get pulled out and then you'll have all this running through your motor, which is not good. So when you're doing a kind of a high performance application, like what these are going on, these are going on that uh, Gen 4 62 LS. Um, it's getting a big cam and it's got um, stiffer springs. Uh, the heads are still at Texas speed right now getting redone, but it's going to get double springs. So if you watch right here, that's the movement. That's all you get out of your stock ones, right? So anything past that, you're going to end up breaking something. And, you know, more vibration, more lift, you start pushing these out. And I haven't had it happen. I've read about it and heard other people talk about it. So on the LTs and LSs, that's kind of the two issues is you have your needle bearings and then you have your DOD uh, lifters that fail. So on these, if you notice, I've already done this one, you got 360 degrees of rotation. So it gives you plenty of, of, of room for it to move. Also on these, your rocker can spin freely inside yeah, on this on the bushing and also the bushing can spin freely on the turning itself so you don't really have any friction everything's real free to move around so in my opinion uh, when i'm asked to do trunnions this is the kit i request this is the one i like to do so i've already done done one just to kind of well i've done two but just wanted to show the the, the example of what can go wrong and why you want to change these out also you want to have you a bucket ready to catch all this stuff. So to get these out, it's not really that hard. It's a little cumbersome by yourself, but each rocker arm has two flats on just one side. So on this side with the two flats, you want the seven eight socket. You want it to go sit just like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to balance all this in your vise, or if you're lucky enough to have a press, which I don't, you can put them in your press. Then you want to take your 9 sixteenths, and that's going to be what pushes everything out for you. So you just want to make sure everything's level and lined up. And you just got to give it a little muscle. There it is. And then there's all your factory junk. So I got a little alcohol in a rag. I just clean off this inside before I get ready. Dip your trunnion in some oil. Got fresh, clean oil there. Get you your bushings. All right. So you can go ahead and put one bushing on. <clears throat> and like I said, all these snap rings, the rough side, which you can feel, is facing facing me right now. It's facing up. So you'll place your snap ring over. Okay, then you take this. Bushing. There we go. 
and that's it. So that one's done. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do them. Um, I'm going to do a few more on film here and uh, get them all knocked out. slippery. And if you want to be cool like me, you can line up all your snap rings with a logo. Vehicle stock application. I don't know if I'd lose any sleep over these needle bearings, but, you know, I mean, if you are losing sleep about it and you think that they're going to scatter and tear up your motor, it's not a hard job to pull these off and, and uh, do the, one of these kits. They're a little expensive. I think this kit's like 250 something like that. You may be able to find it a little bit cheaper here and there, but they were scarce for a while. You couldn't even find them, so well, just like anything else, but... Why does the rest side have to be up? You see how the snap ring sits in this in this groove? Mm -hmm. It's gonna touch this brass bushing. Mm -hmm. So if the rough side touches that brass bushing, it can prematurely wear that brass bushing, I would imagine. They don't really mm -hmm. state why in the instructions, they just tell you. Just do it upside. To, you know, to make sure that the rough side Is faces up. away from the bushing. Mm, makes sense. But I mean, you could just, you can feel that and just feel it just it stops, stops, and it's not a lot of movement, and it's kind of, it's not gritty, but it's just not smooth. And then you get on this, and it's just, I mean, there's nothing to it. So... Yeah, I mean, once again, you can just see how it, that would just come apart. Mm. And, then, and then you got a messed up motor after that. Yeah. So. Like I said, a lot of those five threes and six twos are uh, that we do that they're just stock, and we just these rockers are they're fine for what they are. They'll, they'll go a couple hundred thousand miles, I'm sure. But you know, when you start putting cams and uh, stiffer springs, and you're changing things up, but it's a it's a good little insurance policy to go ahead and do this. <clears throat> I mean, you're already spending the money on everything else. You might as well spend a little bit more. So this 6.2 that we're doing these for is actually getting a pro charger on it too. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a pretty high horsepower motor, I guess.
There was one other kit I did. It was kind of similar to this, but the bushings press in. So, you know, you're already having to press the old stuff out and then having to sit there and press the new stuff in. It's pretty time consuming when it compares to a kit like this where it just, you know, it just goes together so nice and so easy. Thought these helping. Make sure you don't feel any burrs in there. Um, you shouldn't, but if you did, you could take a little Scotch-Brite to it and just make sure that you get it. You don't want that burr uh, rubbing on these new bushings because they have a uh, they have this oil ring here and they have oil rings inside, so oil gets down in there and it you know kind of makes it uh, smoother. Smoother, yeah. Where it makes it where the oil has a channel to go to. So it's a real good thought-out kit. That's the only thing really wrong with this rocker assembly. I mean, these rockers are, they're, they're very stout, very strong pieces from the factory. I mean, they, they can handle you know, big horsepower applications and with no trouble, as long as you get rid of these needle bearings, you'll be fine. And this is the same kit. This is, it says LS on here, but the same exact kit you could put on LT, it's the same stuff. So that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and do this last one off camera, but, um, best kit i would say on the market right now uh, i'll put their link in the description below but if you're doing trunnions this would be the one i would i would choose we appreciate everybody watching subscribe like share ring the notification bell uh thanks to my camera lady for filming today mm -hmm. uh i'll put a link to her channel in the description below like i always do i think she's at what 46 subscribers yeah mm -hmm. so kind of staying so, at 46 so let's let's see if we can get her to 50 I mean, it's, you know, just a few more gets you up to 50. So what do you do on your channel? Yeah. I make meals sometimes. And then, um, I recently got a, a, uh, what do you call that? A stabilizer. Mm -hmm. So I have that up. That's my last video. Yeah. And then we do go to Disney world. So Sweet. any trips and stuff like that, we put up on my channel. Um, anything, basically inside the house um has to do with food or anything like that it goes up on my channel too so cool yeah yeah so somebody you know is interested in that i'll put uh, a little deal um maybe right right here click that right there and that'll take you to her channel so anyway have a good one we'll see you on the next one